All right, hello everyone. I'm a little under the weather this week, so this is probably going to be a pretty short video. Um, but I just want to show you how, if you have a long-running report, some things that you can check um, to try to optimize that report, or even if the report is failing, uh, maybe timing out. I just want to show you uh, a quick setting in VLDB settings that you can check that may or may not help you out here. Um, so I'm going to show you this. I have this demo, demo report here. We're going to go ahead and view the SQL. I want to show you how the SQL is, is put together on this report. All right, so we're going to scroll down here. Now, if you'll notice, there are several subselects here, and MicroStrategy is essentially trying to create this report using one giant query. Okay? Now, MicroStrategy did this as, as um, they're called derived tables, okay? So instead of creating true temporary tables, in this particular case, it's using a derived table. Now, I, I have seen this cause reports to run longer um, in certain cases, and even, like I said, time out in some cases. Now, this is not going to help everyone to optimize all the reports, but this is certainly one thing you can check. Now, this is, happens to be a project and a report level setting, okay? And the default setting is going to depend at the project level is going to depend on what uh, the database connection is, right? So for SQL Server, it will be different than for Microsoft Access, for example. So let's go here. Let's come into, let's edit the report. And we're going to go into our VLDB settings here, VLDB properties. Okay. And we're going to come down to tables, intermediate table type. Now, right now it's set to derive table. So by default, this is going to use the project level setting, okay? And like I said, that will vary depending on the underlying database, okay? But what we can do is we can come down here and set this to true temporary table. And then I'll click save and close. And then we'll save and close the report. And then we'll rerun the SQL and we'll look at the difference here. Okay, so let's scroll down. And now as you can see, See how it's creating these temporary tables now? And it's, and it's inserting into those. And then at the end, it will join those two tables, temporary tables together uh, to create the final query. Now, this is definitely something that you could check. Um, another thing I could ch that, you, that you could check, and this is kind of, kind of stating the obvious for some of you, you may already be aware of this, but is check for the presence of cross joins. In most cases, you do not want cross joins. There are some rare examples where you would, uh, but in 99% of the cases, you do not want cross joins. Okay, so the presence of cross joins could certainly be um, causing issues with your report. Now, let's. Sh I'm going to show you uh, that project level setting. Last thing I'm going to show you. So we'll come down to project configuration. I'll show you where this is. Go to database instances. Okay. And then you're going to choose your connection, and then select VLDB properties. Now, tutorial data. This is an access database. Okay. And we're going to come down to tables. Intermediate table type. Now you'll notice it's set to permanent table. Okay. Now I'll come to another project. This is a project pointing to a SQL server. And we'll do the same thing. VLDB properties. And you'll here you'll notice the default option for intermediate table type is true temporary table. Okay, so like I said, this is a project level setting, but you can also set it at the report level if you're having issues with your reports. Um, this is one thing you can check. Now, again, it's not going to solve everybody's problems, but it is certainly one thing that you can look into because I have seen this cause issues in the past. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI related content. And thanks for watching.